dollies, welcome back to another video. If you don't know me, I am Dala. Welcome. I have not done an updated makeup tutorial in a really long time, so a lot of you guys have been asking for one, so I just decided to do a updated daily makeup tutorial for you guys because I have changed it quite a bit from the last time I've done one. So let's just get right into it. So the first step in my makeup routine after I do all of my skincare and skin prep is my primer, and I use the Etude Glow On Primer. I love this primer because it always gives me a very dewy finish. It kind of just makes my foundation blend right into my skin. See the glow? Next, since I have pretty bad like redness on my skin, I use a green correcting primer and I just use the Per 4-in-1 correcting primer. You can see the difference. And now after that is all blended in, I start on my foundation. This is the foundation that I've been using for so long. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. It's such a good foundation. It gives you like such like a skin-like finish, which I like. I put about that much on. And I just blend it out with a beauty blender. See how nice of a finish it gives? It gives like a very luminous, shiny finish. For concealer, I use the NARS one. I like this one because it blends very well with the Anastasia foundation. It's their Radiant Creamy Concealer and it's in the lightest shade, shade light one. It gives always a very nice finish. I just put it there. Concealer is where your makeup can start to cake up, so always be careful and don't put too much. For powder, I've been using this one recently, the e.l.f. HD powder, translucent one. Sometimes I like using purple setting powder instead of just white because it gives a very like really nice finish the color purple if you're a cool tone cancels out yellows and gives you kind of like a dreamy look younger so if you haven't tried it already i recommend trying purple and i always put a lot of powder on my forehead because i have bangs and i don't want my bangs getting oily for contour or bronzer, I use the Too Cool for School Art Class Bronzer. It looks like this. And I do use like kind of a bigger brush for bronzer. Put it all under here. And I use the darkest shade. Put it along the sides only. I used to do my cheekbones, but I don't really do that anymore. I'll do my cheekbones if I'm going for a more like bold type look. And I actually do have some purple powder. This is the one from... XIXI. I just like kind of put it in this area to lighten up my complexion or like to kind of highlight this area. This area brighter is good when you have a round face. And I also like to put it where I'm gonna put my blush because it makes my blush stand out more. And for nose contour, I'm just using the same. And I don't really go too crazy for nose contour. I put it under my nose to kind of shorten the length here, here too. And then of course I just do it along the sides. I'm not really too precise with this part. I also like doing it up here to give myself more structure. I just kind of contour straight like this. Also do it under my lip to give my lips kind of like a more pouty effect. And I do it here too. If it's too harsh, I just blend it out with my bronzer brush. And since I do have a few acne marks right now, I like to just get my concealer and put a very small dot on it like that. And then I leave it to sit for a while while I'm doing my other steps. For blush, I use the Kylie Cosmetics in shade Winter Kissed. Looks like this. Very pink. I love this pink. And I just put it all along here. And ever since I found out that I'm a low visual weight, I've definitely been doing more natural makeup recently. I always do a lot of blush for more natural looks. And I kind of make my blush the focal point of the makeup. Really try to make my eyes and 
blush the focal point of my makeup. And I also recently have started doing it over here too. And I also put it here. Do my blush like this because I have a longer mid or mid face proportion and doing blush in these placements shortens it. I always get just a brush and I just blend it out when I'm done. The next step is highlight. I like to be pretty generous with my highlight. Use this highlight palette that I got off of Amazon. I don't know the name of it because I lost the front of it, but just search up highlight palette with like multiple colors in it and you'll probably find it. But it's pretty good. And I put it all along here. I also do it on my chin and right there. Also on my brow. Now it's time for eyebrows. This is my favorite ever brow pencil. I just love how it finishes. It's the one from NYX. It's the micro brow pencil in shade Cool Ash Brown. I start by just brushing my brows. Now I don't really go, I don't really have any like thing too detailed that I do to my brows. I just kind of draw them in the natural shape that they are. I'll arch it. I don't do anything too crazy. And then for the front, I do it a little bit and then blend it. And I also like to blend the end. So it kind of gives a very like natural type eyebrow. Eyebrows don't really matter that much to me since I have bangs that cover them anyways. So I'm not really too precise with them. For my eyes, I do kind of keep them more simple. I get the blush that I used because I like to coordinate colors so it all goes well together. I'll make sure there's not too much on there and I just put it all over my top lid. I'll do it on my bottom lid like that. I'll go in with the bronzer that I used and I will just put it on top of that. to make it kind of look more natural. I like to get a smaller brush and do it more defined. And I just kind of blend all that out. Gives off that like, just kind of natural looking, in a way natural looking color. It's not like too bright or too harsh. I like to get my Dior Backstage palette. The palette is the 002 Cool Neutrals Dior Backstage palette. I like to get this color and a small brush. And I just like to kind of define the bottom of this area my eye. This is a step that I've been doing more recently but since I have pretty uneven eyelids as you can see I like to make them even so I use double eyelid tape. I got these just off of Amazon. Just search up water activated double eyelid tape and you'll find them but since my eyelids are so uneven I like to put double eyelid tape so this becomes more of like a double eyelid and so I can like wear eyeliner properly without my hooded eye getting in the way of that. I have it on now and you can see that it just evens out my eyes and makes them honestly look a bit bigger too. So if you have hooded eyes like me and they're uneven, I would recommend getting some double eyelid tape from Amazon. You can't even really see it either. I mean you can, but you can't at the same time. I get this Unleasha palette. This is the best brand for glitters. If you want eye glitters, this is the best brand. Shade here. And I just put it with my finger on my top lid. This gives like a nice sparkle if you can't see it. Also put some on the bottom. I don't put a lot. Put a some here to make my eyes kind of look brighter. And then for eyeliner, I've actually been going more natural with it recently. I haven't been using any liquid eyeliner. 
So I get my Dior Backstage palette again. And I use the darkest color here for my eyeliner. Just draw it. Like that. Nothing too crazy, I just do a literal straight line. Then I'll blend it out on the end with my finger. Then I get the darkest shade again. And I used to tight line my eyes with eyeliner, but since it's the season of allergies, my eyes get like watery from the pollen. So I tight line my eyes with eyeshadow now so it doesn't leak out of my eyes. Because what would happen is I'd tight line my eyes with eyeliner, but then it would leak out of my eye right here and cause like a black line there. So I have to use eyeshadow now. And I just do it here which gives a natural kind of look, like that. If you don't tight line your eyes, I highly recommend doing it because it just makes your eyes like more defined. Like you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. It just defines your eyes more. And then I do my mascara. A lot of you guys have asked which mascara that I use on my Instagram. So I was planning on telling you today. The Rare Beauty Mascara. But it's just in shade black. I don't know if this is the only Rare Beauty mascara, but I like it a lot. You can see it has like this kind of... It's thicker. I like this mascara specifically because it really like accentuates my lashes very nicely. It makes them very like voluptuous and long and like very like visible, which I like without clumping it together too much. And I don't really have any special tricks for this. I just put it on. <sighs> My lashes are like naturally kind of up like that so I don't have to curl them. I just put it on until I feel like it is enough. One thing that I do is whenever I'm doing my front lashes, I push it this way, like this, whenever I'm putting it on. So like you can see, I do that. To make it more up at the front because it pushes it this way, which makes it more up here. Instead of it being kind of tilted this way, it tilts it this way more. And I don't really focus too much on the lashes on this side. I focus more on these lashes here. Because it, it makes my eyes look bigger. Which I like. I just like my eyes looking big. So. And then I also really like to accentuate my bottom lashes. Put a lot of mascara on the bottom. I feel like it just kind of makes my eyes look more doll, like dolly, like in a way, which I like, and it kind of makes them look bigger almost. I also like doing my bottom lashes like that because my eyes are higher up, and I feel like it makes them look a little bit more down. I'll show you guys how I draw my moles. I pretty much just draw over my natural moles. I do add like a few newer ones, but I like to kind of go like off of where my natural ones are. Use the ColourPop liquid liner for this. I used to use a brown eyeliner, but I ran out of it. I like to put one here. I have a natural one there. Then I have one here and one here. I'm putting one on my nose. Like that. I just like having a lot of moles on my face. I just feel like it elevates the look and I feel like moles just look really good on my face. And there's a big acne right there that is hard to cover so I'm probably just gonna draw a mole on top of that too. If you have an acne spot that you wanna cover, just draw a fake mole over it. And it is time for lips. I always use a little brush like this to put on my lipsticks. But first I'm gonna line my lips and I use the Romand Matte Lip Pencil in shade 05. Looks like this. I like this because it's more of like a contour. It looks like that. I do it here. And then I'll do it all under where my lip ends. I blend it. It has a blending side too, which I really like. Then I get this Romand lipstick in shade 10 in there. Okay. 
put on my top too. I do usually like to overline my top lip. I don't really overline my bottom lip because I feel like I don't really have to. But for my top lip, I do like to overline a bit. And when I overline, I only do right here. And I don't do too crazy either. I only do like slightly above where my actual lip is. And for my next lip product, I use this Roman lip tint. In shade number 25, Bear Grape. It's the Juicy Lasting Tint. It's a very pretty color. Very pretty color. And I just put it over. Last step is this Romand Glasting Water Gloss. In shade 00 Meteor Track. And I just put it everywhere. I don't really have a special technique for this. And that is the makeup done. This is my recent everyday makeup that I've been wearing for the past couple of months. It is perfect if you are a low visual weight. And honestly, I think it's pretty cute for the springtime. So you guys should definitely try this makeup while it's spring. I also think it fits my face pretty well, so. Anyways, this was my first makeup tutorial in a very long time, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this video and you want to see more of me, make sure you subscribe, comment any other video suggestions that you may have or makeup looks that you want to see, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!